Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy with my life as Geek Eye, helping you with your beauty and makeup journey. On this channel, I create product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice in the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Today's video is going to be a no makeup makeup tutorial. This is something to wear to the gym, to go grocery shopping, to get the mail, if you have like a PO box and you have to go down the road to get the mail. Some people, aka me, don't feel comfortable leaving the house without makeup on, and that's okay. But they also don't want to go through the whole trouble of putting on full face of makeup just to go to the gym, shopping, mail, you know? You get what I'm saying? So, if that sounds like you and you want to know how to leave the house with a no makeup makeup look, then just keep on watching. Now, I would normally go for a full coverage look because that's just the kind of person I am. But today, I'm going to really try really hard <laughs> and actually make it look like I'm not wearing any makeup. Now, the end result could be something completely different, who knows, but let's just get into it. I'm going to start first with my skincare because skincare is really important. The makeup that you put on top of your skin is only as good as your skin is what's underneath. So if you don't look after your skin, your makeup won't look as good as it could either. So first I'm going to go in with a little bit of serum. This one is just an active day serum, which acts as a conductor and brings all the skincare that you put on top of it. It helps conduct the skincare more deeply and help it penetrate even further into your skin. So I'm gonna take this Jericho Cosmetics Active Serum and just dot that all over my face. This serum has a really smooth, soft, silky consistency, and it also acts as a bit of a primer, helping fill in the pores. I don't know if you can see, but that's already helping smooth my skin. Now that I've got that on my skin, this step is completely unnecessary, but for me, this is what I would normally do when I'm applying makeup anyway. So I'm gonna go in with my C Firma Drunk Elephant Day Serum. This one is just a bit of health care for the skin. Vitamin C helps nourish, brighten, and help reveal more brighter and luminous skin. And I've already got my face cleansed too, by the way. That was just like, that's just a grand tip before you apply any makeup, cleanse your face. Now that I've got that worked into the skin, I'm going to go in with a bit of moisturizer. Whatever works for you, use it. I'm going to go in with the Jericho Cosmetics Restoring Day Cream. I'm actually nearly out of this. Probably gonna have to buy some more. I'm going to go in with just a little bit of this because later on I'm going to go in with a tad bit of foundation but I'm going to mix it with my moisturizer because I don't have a BB cream. And BB cream is basically tinted moisturizer, so it makes sense to tint my moisturizer with foundation, right? Always make sure that you work your skincare down your neck either, because your skin doesn't end here. It keeps on going down. It keeps on going down the face, down the skin, everywhere. Your body's covered in it. So skincare really extends further than just your face. It's just your face is probably the first thing people look at. Well, not in some instances. Okay. I've got my moisturizer on. Now I'm going to go in with a smoothing primer. I'm using the Mecca Cosmetica smoothing primer, but if you want a really good drugstore dupe for that, I would go with a Wet n Wild Face Detint Face Primer. This one is from the Photo Focus line, and it's basically called Magic Potion, which it is. It's a very smoothing primer, but I'm going to go in with my Mecca Cosmetica one today. This one I'm going to go in where I feel like I have a fair bit of texture, and that would be around my mouth. I'm very lucky to not have really huge pores around my face, so I'm just going to go in really lightly with just a tiny little bit there and on my forehead. I feel like my forehead and around my mouth I have the most texture and obviously where I have these unwanted visitors. So basically, instead of applying makeup to make your skin look the best it can be, today I'm applying skincare to make my skin look the best it can be. Now, I don't typically have oily skin. I'm really lucky to have skin that is not overly troublesome. Well, most of the time anyway. But if you are someone who has really super oily skin, especially in the T-zone, that's where most people would tend to be oily, I would go in with a bit of a mattifying primer just in your T-zone. Don't go overboard, just tap in a little bit here, maybe a little bit around the nose if that's where you get oily as well, or on the nose. Um, I would go in with a little bit of mattifying primer, but I don't need that, so I'm going to move on. All right, now, so now I'm going to spot conceal. I'm using the Master Conceal by Maybelline Face Studio. And this one is closer to my skin tone than I would normally use for a concealer. But this one is great for spot concealing because I don't want um, my blemishes to be highlighted, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger like this. And I'm just going to gently pat them into those areas where I have pimples or redness. 
and I'm just going to use my finger. Just gently blend that in until it's worked into the skin and it's covering any redness that you might have. A good tip is just pat it. Don't drag it around or smear it like you would a lotion or a moisturizer. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of concealer and hide that darkness because that's not cute. <laughs> also my eyes look like they have dark circles around them. That's not dark circles. I was wearing a deep pink and purple eyeshadow yesterday and it stained my eyes. It stained my freaking eyes. So I'm gonna have to conceal that today. I know it looks like I have dark circles. I don't have dark circles, which I'm very fortunate, I'm not complaining, I'm very fortunate that I don't have um, super dark circles or like in my family they have big bags under their eyes but I, I just don't. Well I have tiny little bags but that's just my eyes. <laughs> so I'm going to have to conceal those dark circle stains around my eyes. At least you know the pigment's good. You can sort of see that I'm wearing something on some parts of my face. So I'm going to even out the skin tone. I'm actually not gonna use foundation today. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of this concealer and mix it in with my moisturizer, like I mentioned before. So I don't need very much because like I said, it's a no makeup naked look and I just want to really just even out the tone on my face because you can see the patches where I'm actually wearing concealer. I'm gonna take a tiny little bit of moisturizer just apply it to the back of my hand or a mixing dish or whatever you want to mix your foundations in. Take a little bit of this concealer because it is close to my skin tone. I don't want to highlight or slap on a full layer. I just want to take a little bit here. That'll do. And then just mix it in. Now I'm going to take some of that and just dot it all over my face. Especially on the eyes where I have been stained and take a bit of that down my neck now if you're thinking damn girl you said no makeup makeup look that's a lot of makeup just remember that this is actually mostly moisturizer it, it's only a very tiny little bit of concealer which the moisturizer will evenly distribute over my skin so I'm gonna actually use a beauty blender for this one and this step is just to ensure an even smooth tone all over my skin it's not really giving any coverage, you can still see my skin through it. Now even this might still seem like a fair bit of makeup to some of you, and especially those of you who are watching for a no makeup makeup look, but honestly, if you want a no makeup makeup look, then just don't wear makeup. <laughs> for me, this is like absolute minimal compared to what I would normally wear. Probably need a little bit more on the eyes because that shit stained my skin so bad. To be fair, I was wearing it the whole day. Now that that seems to be evenly distributed all over my face, that was actually the perfect amount of concealer. Now you could very easily stop here. I have evened up my skin tone, I have covered up my blemishes. You can still see a fair bit of texture, but we're not really able to cover texture as easily as we can redness. So you could very easily stop here. But if you're someone who has really super oily skin and you're saying that's not gonna last five minutes on me as soon as I step outside, then you could also very easily go in with a wet makeup sponge and go into a tinted foundation. Now, you can see I've used this a fair bit in the past. This one is the Revlon Nearly Naked Pressed Powder and it is a tinted powder. You could very easily take a little bit of that. I'm not, I'm not going in because I don't need it today. You could take in a little bit of that and just apply it in these areas where you would get a little bit oily to help set down that tinted moisturizer. So you could go in on the eyelids if you have oily eyelids, forehead, chin, around the mouth, you get the picture. I don't need that personally, um, but I what I do reckon I need is I'm going to go in with a little bit on a brush and the places where I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, like these little spots here where the little bit of redness is showing through on my pimples, I'm gonna take a little brush and just very gently go over the top of it to try and minimize the texture and the redness. Sometimes my eye creases get a little bit oily and 
liney so I'm gonna apply a little bit of that on my eyelid this I feel like this is just as many steps as applying normal makeup which is why I would just opt for a full coverage makeup look anyway <laughs> and I'm not going overboard because if you go overboard that's when it'll start to look cakey so you can see my face still looks glowy you can still see my skin for me I feel like I'm not wearing anything you could stop here honestly you could stop at any point in this video and say and call it a day but <laughs> I'm going to go a bit further because I feel like I need a little bit of definition in my cheeks so when you're wearing a no makeup makeup look but you still want a little bit of that contour go for a matte bronzing powder you don't want the highlighty shimmery sort of bronzers because then that'll clearly show that you are wearing makeup so I'm going to go in with a matte bronzer and as usual I'm going to go in to my BYS contour trio and I'm just going to go into the bronzing powder and I'm going to use that really lightly in the places where I would normally apply bronzer so again I'm just going to pat it in instead of dragging it because that's going to drag the makeup around and then if I want to blend it in I'm going to hold it really lightly and just lightly blend in those edges A trick is if you want a really light hand, hold your brush at the very end. That way you have the least amount of control over the pressure that you're applying. Hold it at the very tip of the brush and just very lightly blend. My hair looks terrible. As you can see, I look quite luminous and glowy, but I want a little bit more of a glow. I want my skin to look luminous and dewy and healthy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a highlighter and if you want to go in with a highlighter then do so, but I would recommend going in with a highlighter that's more of a natural sheen. Don't go in with something that's blinding like the Maybelline Master Chrome here. As you can see, that's already very blinding in the pan. I would recommend going with something that has a little bit more of a texture, like the Milani Strobe Light. This one is their one in the shade Afterglow. And as you can see, it's not very bright. So I'm gonna, again, go in with my damp beauty sponge. If you go in with a damp beauty sponge as opposed to a brush, it'll help apply the highlight a lot more smoothly and evenly instead of giving you like a harsh line of highlight straight away. And this one, you can very easily control where you apply it. So I'm just gonna go in the highlight like that and dab that on the high points of my cheeks. Because this is a very luminous highlight and it's not glittery or sparkly, I'm going to take a little bit of that on the high points of my face as well. Okay, now I'm going to talk about brows. As you can see, I really don't need to do anything to them, especially when I'm going for a no makeup makeup look. But if you have brows that need filling in, then fill them in by all means. I obviously don't need any, so I'm going to very quickly skip that step. For those of you who are watching this for the brows sake, I'm very sorry. I have brows, just fill them in how you would normally do that and you can find a whole lot of tutorials on YouTube on how to fill in your brows. As far as eyeshadow goes, I'm going to leave the eyes alone because again, this is no makeup makeup look. But even if you wanted to go in with a bit of brown eyeliner in your tight line, then you do that. All I'm going to do is go in with a bit of mascara. Now, the mascara I would recommend using for a no makeup makeup look is a lengthening mascara, not a volumizing one. Because if you want to look like you're not wearing any makeup, all you want to do is have your natural long lashes which I don't have you don't want your eyelashes to look plumpy and like spiders so I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal false lash telescopic infinite length effect fibers mascara and I'm just going to apply a semi liberal coat of that on my lashes now for lips I'm just gonna go in with a bit of a balm and I'm just gonna let that sink in before I go over it with a satin lipstick. Okay, now I know I said I was gonna go over it with a satin lipstick, but actually, you know what? I feel like I wanna wear a gloss today because juicy lips, who doesn't want that? So I'm gonna go in with a ColourPop Glossy Lip in the shade Aquarius. Don't forget to use setting spray. And this is the finished look. So 
So I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. I know it seemed like a lot of steps still, but you are still applying makeup to your face and in the efforts to make it look like you're not wearing any makeup, it actually takes probably a few more extra steps of care for your skin than it would a normal full face of makeup. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. Follow me on all my other social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All of them are life as geek guy. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> but they also don't want to go through the whole tra trauma. Trauma? It's not trauma. Oh my god. So I'm going to take a tiny little bit of moisturizer. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here. Entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, consider subscribing.